I am so thrilled to be joined by Amber Heard, actress and Hi. activist. Let's see. I don't know anything you okay. do about mics. But <laughs> she, she's coming. I started volunteering at a soup kitchen before school because um, you know I didn't have time to do it any other time other than summers. So every morning before school, you know, started going there, and um, I, I I I think that's when I got addicted to the to the give back, and I learned a lot. I learned a lot about people and. Um, and, and really not what separates us, but how similar we are. I moved to LA when I was young. I had no money and having nothing um, but time. I wound up uh, finding uh, a way I could work with children in, um, in children's hospitals. I started developing a relationship with the United Nations Human Rights. I found, uh, I could not have found uh, an institution more aligned with my core principles or values an institution um, that was uh, founded on and, and serves to represent and protect uh, the articles that set forth in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The basic pledge involves saying if, if anyone's human rights are denied, everyone's human rights are denied. Eleanor Roosevelt's always been a hero of mine. I mean, this woman just, you know, rose uh, to such uh, tremendous personal and professional heights as a woman in her time, and did so with a very firm belief and views in, in respect for uh, racial, gender, economic equality. Women's rights are human rights. There's a reason why the first articles, one and two, which lays out all human beings are free and equal, and that we all, no matter your gender, your race, your creed, your color, your, your political opinion, lack thereof, we all deserve to be free and equal. It's an incredible feat to think that this declaration could very much embody the essence of what it means to be a responsible, ethical, moral human being that's also motivated to protect that in others because to protect it in others is to protect it in you, in your hands. I'm just pointing at the one phone I see. But in your hands is the power to change the world and it's not hyperbole. Look at how different the world was two and a half years ago. There was no one saying her story. What about her? There was no Me Too. I've been complaining and talking about this and trying to engage this discussion since I arrived in Hollywood 16 years ago. But in the last three years, seeing the energy, the support, the galvanization, uh, the grassroots uh, 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 support that's come up uh, to change the communal cultural conversation and attitude, it's no longer the job of activists or uh, uh, solely for activists, because I'd still like to be a part of the conversation. It's no longer the job for politicians or outdated institutions. It's our job to make the world we want to live in.